something that you've kind of opened my mind to, I will say, mm. is like the idea of like s- swinging big, like trying hard, yes. trying, mm-hmm. trying to make something get having an idea and like, I don't know, like putting yourself out there to try and execute that idea, which clearly makes yourself there does vulnerability to that there's and and this is like an example of a very young person kind of doing that the, the albums before this still feel like kid in omaha recording his songs you know yeah but this one is ripping off neutral milk hotel like which i didn't quite grasp at the time actually having just read the elephant six book i can see the pretty obvious parallels between that and uh saddle creek so but all right, so this idea that he goes for it and tries to make this this record, which he does, he continues to do versions of that in the next the next cup next one definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like if you come from like an Indian punk culture, quote unquote, mm-hmm. like you're kind of conditioned to believe that it's like it's kind of cooler to not care, you know. Mm-hmm. But if you just show you care a whole bunch, and then I mean, you're, you're basically you open the door for Taylor M. Clark to basically <laughs> to, to to basically like read your diary read all the potentially cringy interpretations of your diary which like i i wrote songs and journals at that time and there'd be a fucking nightmare for them to be read by people yeah seriously i i also did that as well and i mentioned that at the end of the review that like i was you know trying to write music at that time all of which has been lost the great digital dustbin of history there is no record of it i've thrown it all out yeah i mean i would say that it's I don't know if it's necessarily cool to not care, but I think that there's more value or just more admiration in bands that like set their sights on a goal and like clearly achieve it with room to spare. Like, and by that, I mean, you know, if you look at stuff that was happening concurrently with like, say, uh, you know, Interpol or the Strokes, I mean, like those are clearly ambitious bands. Like they set out to do something that, you know hadn't really been done for a while but like you can totally you don't see them straining to the same degree that you do with like bright eyes or a lot of the stuff that steve and i love you know for example the new gang of youths album or you know the foxing one before that like a cool band will like pull it off and make it clear like how they like but with bright eyes it's like you could even when they like achieve these monumental works like you could just see their fingers kind of like clap, you know, just, just gripping the edge as the, as they're about to fall off or it it just, it does not look graceful. Um, And, you know, it's like, you have to consider like when you're reviewing a record, like, okay, maybe there's like one song where they completely face plant. Does that like, you know, does that mean that the, the record, doesn't deserve as high of a score or do you like integrate that failure as like kind of a as kind of like the churn of yeah. classic album making you know like do you do you do you believe that every truly classic um ambitious piece of work has to have one song where they just kind of fail so you so you can recognize what they did achieve you know 